Today we will learn how to install macOS 26 on your Mac without losing your data or affecting your current operating system. Hello friends and welcome back to MG Learning. Friends, Apple just announced the latest version of macOS for its computers at WWDC 2025. The new operating system is currently available as a developer beta. However, if you are as excited as I am, and cannot wait to explore its new features before the final release, I strongly recommend installing it on a separate partition or volume. This is the safest way to try out macOS 26 without risking your current data or replacing your existing macOS installation. And here is a step-by-step -step guide. Before you start, Make sure your Mac is compatible with macOS 26. Similar to previous versions, macOS 26 has specific hardware requirements, which means not every Mac can run it. For your convenience, I have provided a list of compatible devices in the video description. If your Mac is on that list, you can proceed to the next step. Make sure you have enough storage space for installation. Your Mac should have 30 to 35 GB of free space for a smooth installation. Although this process is generally safe, it's always a good idea to backup your important data before installing any beta software. This way you will be able to restore your data if anything goes wrong during or after the installation. Next, you will need to create a new APFS volume on your Mac. For that, open the DisUtility app, which is located in the Utilities folder inside the Application folder. Once the app is open, go to the View menu and select Show All Devices. On the left sidebar, select the container disk of your hard drive. Click the plus icon in the toolbar to add a new volume. Enter a name for your new volume and click Add. And that's it. A new APFS volume will be created. As macOS 26 is currently in developer beta, so it is not available on the App Store. However, you can still download the full installer for free. I have created a step-by-step -step video on this topic. The link is in the video description. Once you have downloaded the installer, go to the application folder and launch the macOS 26 installer. Click continue. Agree to the macOS 26 terms and conditions. On the disk selection page, select the APFS volume you created earlier and click continue. Enter your login password if needed and press enter. The installer will now begin installing macOS 26 on the new APFS volume. This is the first phase of installation. Once it completes, your Mac will restart and proceed to the second and final phase of installation. The entire process may take 20 to 25 minutes. Depending on your Mac configuration, your Mac might restart several times, which is completely normal, so don't worry. The entire installation is automatic, so just sit back and relax. Once the installation is complete, you will be able to use macOS 26 along with your current operating system. So friends, that's how you can install the macOS 26 developer beta on your Mac. After the installation is finished, I will create another video covering its new features, tips and tricks. So please stay in touch and subscribe to MC Learning. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.